Hey guys, so today I'll be taking you guys to the west side of the island of Tortola. On the way there, I will show you guys the scenery, the ocean, the, you know, the beaches, and the roads. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. I'm just gonna go put some shoes on. I'll be right back. <laughs> attention to the room so pray for me so if this video gets posted it means I'm alright uh, yeah man so just taking this drive all the way down showing you guys parts of the island parts of West End or even you know going to West End so really hope you guys enjoy this and you know if you do decide to come here hit me up you know I don't mind being your tour guide so Let's get back to it. All right, guys, I just want to take a quick pit stop here. This is Nanny Key. So if you're ever looking for um, sailboats to go on, catamarans, whatever type of boat, you'll definitely be able to get them here. Um, I don't think the security guys are going to let me videotape as I'm entering the entrance. Let me just turn it off for a second. Guys, check this out. Check this scenery out. So we just came from that side over here. We just drove in from all the way around there. We came all the way around on that side. And we came over on this side. So we parked up right here. So anyways, check out this scene. So this area is actually a key. It's not really an island. This is called Nanny Key. And that is actually Tortola over there. So we're actually on a key right now. And um, yeah. Right behind of this here, this is called Road Town, behind of this. So we still got, where are we? Yeah, so over, on, over the hill, over on that side is called Road Town, which is the center of the island, or the city. So yeah. You know what? I just decided let's just drive in. Let's just drive in. Let's see what we can find, right? If I'm gonna take you guys to West End, I might as well take some pit stops, you know? And just show you guys around. Why not? So like I was saying, this here is called Nanny Key. As you can see, you're gonna see a lot of sailboats. Like a lot, a lot, a lot of sailboats. Just parked up here on the side. These are different, different, uh, different companies that own different catamarans, and uh, people come out here and they rent them. And also, this is where they fix them. So if if there's a mast that's broken or whatever that's broken on the boat, they would take them here for them to get fixed. They would take them out the water, and they would put them up there, and they would fix them. So, yeah. So let's drive a little further in, and I'll show you guys Nanny Key and. There's actually also a hotel in here. I don't remember the name of it. I don't remember the name of the hotel. It just says Hotel and Marina reception. So yeah, guys, you're gonna see a lot of boats left, left side, right side. You're gonna see a lot of boats in here. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a marina, so it's expected. All right, guys. So this here is. One of, the, one of the popular hotels for tourists that come in to the island. A lot of them come here to this hotel. I don't think I'm allowed to go in there, so I'm not gonna even, I'm not even gonna try. So let's go on this side. Back here is where there's a restaurant. Uh, I don't remember the name, I think it's called Peg Legs Restaurant. Peg Legs Restaurant, I believe. Can't recall the name of it. These are, these are basically hotels on the water, basically. So what I'm gonna do, I can't go in there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna turn back around, step out the car and show you guys exactly how the apartments look. 
in the water. So give me one second. All right, guys. So check this out, right? I'm having little difficulties with the camera. All right. So you see that? These are hotels that are literally on the water. So you see? Literally on the water. On the other side is where. Yep. That out. So imagine renting one of these and you just throw your fishing line in. You know, you catch some fish while you're watching a movie, eating some food. It's life, man. So we're heading back out, going back to the entrance, entrance slash exit. So yeah, guys, you're gonna see a lot of boats on the either side of the road. This is where they repair them, where they, uh, they rent them. It's a very popular spot in the British Virgin Islands. Oh, and I, I don't think I mentioned, the British Virgin Islands is actually one of the number one spots for sailing. So, if you ever decide you want to go sailing, this would be this should be one of the spots you, uh, you start from. Trust me, it's, it's so many things to see, especially in the water. Dolphins, turtles, you can see fly fish, you're gonna see everything, you're gonna see everything. It's it's one of the number one spots for sailing in the world. Just imagine that. Alright guys, so I don't think I told you but Tortola is the largest island in the British Virgin Islands. It is 24 square miles with the inhabitants of 24,000 residents. So it's not a big island and not that many residents live in here. But it's definitely paradise, trust me. Here we are, we locked down in different cities. And our virtual connection falls apart. Guess it's been too many years since California. The memories of us is all I have See one day I'm gonna reach ya Take a plane for many miles We pretend that time didn't pass us by When we're on the Holland Drive I know it won't be long before dawn Gotta be patient for a while Someday we'll look at stars in the same sky So, right here this entire coastline right here, all the way I guess up to like, there's like a box over there somewhere, and then I got taken out. So all this entire coastline, we used to have, they used to have a lot of different shacks here. And they used to be called Bumba Shack. And every full moon party, there would be a lot of people here on this road, like completely packed, every full moon. But ever since 2017 and Hurricane Irma, that just took everything that was here with it took everything away so here used to be called bomba shack so this is on the west side of the island but in 2017 it was all taken away by hurricane Irma. so now it's just an empty coastline and the now the waves are actually closer to the um to the land. Alright guys, so I'm really just cutting this video short today. I am tired, I just have such a headache right now. And I still got this cold. It's not the best. It's not the best. Don't, don't catch the cold. So if you guys can click that thumbs up button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you get notified every time i post a new video so guys until next time i'll see you guys in the next video peace